Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Snacktastic video, believe it or not. Yes, this is a real product, and it's a product that I feel could only exist in the year 2024 with all the success of all these new action figures, but Jada Toys has done it. They've teamed up with Cheetos <laughs> to create a Chester Cheetah action figure, and my god... Is this going to be fun, right? In NECA style, it has one of those flappy box opener things, and it has a nice photo of Chester Cheetah, more of the artwork, right? And then you get to look inside the box and see everything. And one thing to point out, if you get a chance to go through a few of them, for whatever reason, just make sure you get yourself one with some good looking paint. The sides of the box are amazing, especially the figure facts, right? <laughs> it lists... Alternate hands, Cheeto bag, all that kind of stuff. That's cool. Collector quality paint, 100%. Collector quality sculpt, 100%. 20 points. Beautiful. That is creativity in its finest. And on the back side, you get some more Frito-Lay Chester Cheetah artwork. The bottom, though, I will say this. Jada, it'd be really cool if you can, because I'm actually interested in who sculpted this figure out, who painted it, the whole nine yards. If you can start listing that on the bottom of the box, heck, I would really appreciate it. So... This is going to be an absolute dangerously cheesy blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee to go along with it. Cheetos, coffee, whatever. <laughs> this is a look at the brand new, no joke, Frito-Lay Cheetos Chester Cheetah action figure by Jada Toys. Oh yeah, Cheetos. And lo and behold, here is Chester Cheetah, along with all his Cheeto accessories out of the box. Again, this is something that can only exist in this day and age. And for what it is, it's pretty darn epic. Now, he does come with a Cheetos bag. Cheetos Crunchy, depending on what your favorite type of Cheetos are. Well, you got a crunchy bag this time around. And everything is pretty legible on it. I gotta give it to him. Now, with the hands given, Sometimes they can be a little bit too loose in holding the Cheetos bag. It's all about how you position it, just as a heads up. Now, you do get extra hands, which is always a nice touch. They are painted beautifully, and if you notice, on some of the hands, there's actually Cheeto dust on the whites of his hands. Again, that is fantastic. I absolutely love that little attention to detail. That's a lot of fun, along with his Cheeto beaten club <laughs> as chester cheetah is known to have no it's one giant cheeto and i don't know how they've managed to achieve this it feels like a cheeto it's plastic he does hold that beautifully a lot better than the bag we'll just say and with all that articulation yeah you can definitely pose him to bash some rival chip companies right now you got this extra head portrait the main one is he's doing the whole smirky chester cheetah smile I like this one. It's a little bit more solemn. I would say go easy with his whiskers, but they're not going to break by any means. They're just something pokey, something standing out, but it's really cool. And the actual action figure itself, this is one of those times where I'm just going to say, if you like Cheetos and you like action figures and you want something bat poop crazy on your shelf, just get this. The video's over, right? And how they've managed to achieve the Cheeto dust all over the figure so it gets all over your hands Go figure. Jada, you're doing some magic over there. <laughs> yeah, thanks for going along with my bits. Anyways, this figure is gorgeously sculpted, well articulated. I'll say it again and again. I love the Cheeto dust all over his hands. All of the spots are really well printed. I got to get this Cheeto dust off my hands. Anyways, you have the articulation in the head and the neck. So multiple points of articulation get him looking all the way down. He has a rather large face, but it's never cumbersome and it's never too heavy for the ball peg. Now, in the arms, I will say this. There will be some paint that you'll mess around, especially because it's kind of gotten into the joints. He doesn't have anything bicep. He's got single joints in the elbow. They'll spin at the elbow and at the wrist. But everything moves very fluid, very pinless. He has a Gut articulation, you could kind of say, right? The arms will go all the way up, all the way out. He does have a tail. This is one point you may want to go really easy just in case. Kind of get to know it a little bit. Don't just pull it from the top of the tail 
down, kind of use it to where the joint meets the base of the tail, and then just kind of move that around so that it gets a little bit looser. The legs will kick all the way out, all the way up. He does have a Chester cheetah thigh swivel, along with single jointed knees, which are very sturdy. All the articulation is solid. He'll spin at his big old Chester cheetah boots, and he's got some ankle up and down, left and right, pivots. You got the idea here, right? This is ridiculous and they have mastered a Chester Cheetah here. Now, what does this go with? Nothing. <laughs> but in the off chance you wanted him as part of your X-Men, well, there is also a chance that it might just be Morph in disguise, trying to snake them Cheetos. Now, I'm sure you all remember this issue of the TMNT Archie comics when Chester Cheetah went up against the Mighty Mutanimals, right? They weren't all too happy, especially Slash there, but it did turn out that it was simply just a misunderstanding, and he and Jaguar ultimately made up. Completely made that story up. I hope you enjoy that. Now, how does he fare with DC Multiverse? <laughs> He'll go with everything. Chester Cheetah, who knows how tall he is. It doesn't even matter. This is an awesome action figure for your collection. So, that'll wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new Jada Toys Chester Cheetah action figure. Let me just say that again. A Chester Cheetah action figure, believe it or not. And it's really good. <laughs> it nailed this one, Jaded Toys. Couple hiccups with some paint on mine in the face, but other than that, yeah, everything is really solid. So again, thanks to my friends, to Jada, for setting this out for the purposes of this video. You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Cheetos. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, you have to tell me down in the comments below, what's your favorite type of Cheetos? Flamin' Hots, Puffs, doesn't matter. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.